Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to share some brand new presets with you today. Let's dive in and check out what's fresh and new. You're going to love these new presets. First, we have that authentic VHS. This is super cool effect made by Scape Edit. Let me show you how it looks and how it use it. First, download the preset and then search the preset. Let's add this effect to this media. As you can see, it's super easy to use. For now, it has no input control, but you can go inside the group and change the things you like. Hope we'll see input control in the future update. Next, we have the cloud title. This is a node group for creating a cloudy title. You can change the text from the three text node. If you want to see the title in three to make sure to enable quick sort for transparency. Next, we have Image Glitcher. This is super fast glitch effect. This is a few, so you need to restart Resolve after installation. As you can see, there is two inputs, one for amount and one for speed. You can go crazy with this. Next, we have Dawn Bringer. This creates pixelated look. You can change the size of pixel to get some cool look. This is a few, so you need to restart Resolve. Next, we have Fireworks. This is so cool preset for creating fireworks effect. You need to connect a background to the background input without the background connected, it won't work. This is a few, so you need to restart after installing it. Let me show you, there is tons of inputs you can control. Let me show you a cool trick. You can use Trails node to get cool trail effect, which looks so cool. If you try to use the Trails node with alpha set to zero, it won't work that way. You need to use Luma Kyer node. After that, you can insert the Trails node to get the effect you want. This node is so heavy, so it'll take some time to process. Now we have Shark's Ambient Macro, which you can use to set quick background light that looks so cool. This is a macro, so you don't need to restart the resolve. Let me show you how you can use this, and I'm going to show you how you can use Magic Mask to get most out of this preset. As you can see, this looks so cool after removing the background. Next, we have the back ray preset. This is also a macro. Let's see how to use, and with magic mask trick, we can create super cool effect with it. Next, we have the chromatic abortion. This add the saddle chromatic effect on the clip. You can go extreme also if you want. 